What's up, guys? Um, well, I'm back from Disney. Um, and I wasn't really sure I should make this video because of like what what just ha well not what just happened, but what happened last night. But I might well quit. Sorry, just looking at my sheets again. But um. Uh, I need a distraction right now to stop myself from crying. I'm not going to go into detail about what's going on. This is like my coping mechanism for right now. It's just making a YouTube video. And I don't want any of you guys to like bash me for like doing this in the certain time that's going on. So please be respectful of that. Because everybody copes differently. And so, yeah. So, I mean, I'm sorry if I'm not like as upbeat as I should be when doing this. But, I felt like I'd, I needed to do it and take my mind off of things right now. So, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from Disney World. So obviously you can see I have some ears on my head. I bought these literally literally yesterday on the last day of the trip. Cause I, I really wanted some like Haunted Mansion ears or some Tower Terry ears, but they were not anywhere in the parks. I could not find them whatsoever. So I just got these instead. And for those of you who know, I graduated college almost yeah, four weeks ago. So almost a month ago. So, and I got these little, these little beauty right here. Got this. Class of 2017. Now, the only thing I have to say about that is that you don't know, like, what you're graduating. Are you graduating from college? High school? I think they should, like, at least do, like, like, do, like, college grad or do, like, high school grad. Something like that. That way they know, like, what you're graduating from. Oh. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. That is my dad mowing the lawn because it needs to be lawn. Lawn. It needs to be mowed. Poor Jesus, I am tired. Alright. So I'm going to take you guys over to the to my closet real quick because that's the first thing I want to show you guys. Alright. So you guys know about Disney Springs, right? So in co-op, the co-op area, I think, there's a little shop called the Dress Shop. Well, I should say like a little section called the dress shop. It's not really an actual shop. So, I bought a dress. I'm just going to lay it over the stuff right here. And I really wanted like the Tower of Terror one, but it, they didn't have my size. And then I was like, ooh, I wanted a Haunted Mansion one, but they didn't have my size. So, I was like, yeah, why? Why? And I think they rotate dresses. Because when I was like watching YouTube videos, so, like going through here... I was like, huh, I like that dress. I'm going to get that dress when I go. But they didn't have it. I don't know if they didn't have it in stock or if it's sold out or if they just like rotate dresses to like give like a more variety. So I was like, oh great, a dress I really wanted is not here. All right, so this is the dress I wound up getting. If I can get it out the bag. This is it. Let's see if I can make it. It's not Alice in Wonderland, so that's probably what you guys are thinking since it's blue and kind of white. Oh no, it's Belle, like Beauty and the Beast. You see the little buttons on here? They're like little roses, and of course we have like an extra one like right here in case one of them pops off. And it's in a medium. Now, my sizes vary. Because sometimes I can wear small, sometimes I wear mediums. Usually in like dresses I try to wear like mediums. So it goes down to this and even has like a little belt around it. And then there, there is my cat. Well, one of my cats. This is Millie. Hi Millie. Get, get away from my dress. Get away from the dress. Get away from the dress. See a little detailing on it? It has like some books. It has Mrs. Potts. It has the Enchanted Rose. It has 
Lumiere, it has the mirror right there, it has Cogsworth, and it has Chip, and that goes all the way around the bottom on in the back too. And this is what the back looks like. Just your standard, just like that. And it's really pretty. I didn't try it on. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I heard something. I didn't try it on because I was just like, yeah, I don't feel like it. Okay, you see how it says small on the hanger, but if you turn it, it says medium. So guys, always check the tags on dresses. Yeah, or it's just anything. Make sure you always take, check the tags first. I'm just gonna set that right there. Let me get this out of the way for right now. All right, sorry about the kind of messy bed situation. I'm still like unpacking, sort of. All right, so. That's not what I bought. That's my phone. All right. Eh, who cares? All right. So this is just some of the stuff that I bought. Obviously, yeah, I love books, so I bought books. First one was from the Magic Kingdom, and I got Tales from the Haunted Mansion Volume One: The Fearsome Foursome. Now there's four, three or four volumes, I think. So I just need to get the other ones. So. Oh yeah. Then I got some cookbooks. I'll show you, I'll talk to you guys about this one later. In this later. Alright, I got a couple cookbooks. I got Chef Mickey, Treasures from the Vault, and Delicious New Favorites. I also got the Best of Epcot Festival's cookbook. I got Delicious Disney Sweet Treats. And then I got Kitchen Magic with Mickey, Favorite Recipes from the Disney Parks and Cruise Ships. And those are all the books I bought, I swear. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Cross my finger. Or whatever. I promise. Alright, so. On to the more important stuff. Food. Okay. So I did, uh, like, buy some little snacks at the, uh. Oh gosh, you got that was a real close up of my face. Not attractive. So I did buy some, um, like, little snacks at the, uh resort that we stayed at, Pop Century, and I ate like two of those already, so and here's the ones I have left. I have two Minnie's Bake Shop peanut butter cookies, because these are the best. Actually, oh yeah, that's right, I didn't buy these, these two, at Pop Century. I bought these two at Magic Kingdom yesterday. I bought this at Pop Century. It's a uh, Snacks with Character Cranberry Mix. You see? It's fun to share. Has some nutritionists on the back, but nobody cares about that. Yeah, it's uh, reduced sugar, dried cranberries, pretzels, rye bagel chips, garlic breadsticks, sesame breadsticks, cashews, chocolate flavored chips, and peanut butter flavored chips. So this should be good. Can't wait to devour this. All right, guys. So if y'all know me by now, you know that I love anything to do with Japan. And so when we went to Epcot two days ago, Oh, we went around the country, and so I kind of went a little cray-cray. So, let's see what I got. These two bags are nothing but filled with snacks from the... Not just the Japan Pavilion, but like any pavilion. Alright. So, let's go to Mexico. I didn't buy anything from Mexico because they didn't have like any sweets that I liked. I didn't buy anything from Norway because they didn't have anything that I really liked. Then, next comes China. This is what I bought from China, if I can find the right stuff. Not that, obviously. I'm trying to find it. Oh. This is one of the things I bought. It's probably crushed up by now, but oh well. It is Strawberry Corn Cracker Happy Star. And it's... Oh, what? oh it's a product of Taiwan! Focus? Focus? It's not going to focus. Well, but I bought this in the Japan, uh, Japan. Oh my god. I bought this in the China Pavilion, but it's a product of Taiwan, so go figure. Alright, I did buy something else in here from Japan. China. Oh my gosh, the China Pavilion. I gotta stop. It might be in here. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff, guys. I'm just going to take all this crap out. Oh, found it. 
This is what I bought, also bought in China. It's sesame mochi with coconut shred. It's vegan, and it's a made in Taiwan. It's made in Taiwan, but is it a product of Taiwan? Um, I'm not seeing anything on here that says it's a natural product of China, or if it's a product of Taiwan. You know how when things say they're made in Taiwan, but they're not a product of Taiwan? Or just something like that? So, I'm not really sure. So, these are... I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with China. Whatever. Alright. So, the next pavilion was... What was it? Germany. I did buy something from... Oh, I oh, almost forgot. There was this, um, I also bought a drink in China, but I already drank it. It was a uh, milk tea, and ooh, that is really, really good. It was really good. Anyway, back to Germany. I bought two things from Germany. I bought these Naturals mild paprika chips. It's made without gluten. Ooh. And it is produced in Germany, so it is German. So these should be good. I also bought bought something else in Germany. I don't think it's in here though. No, I think it's in here. Oh my gosh. I got so much stuff you guys. I probably should have thought this out more. I think that's not it. Probably should have got all of this stuff out before. But what are you gonna do? I think I've got this in Germany. Let me see. No, that's no, that's not. That's not it. Dang it! I could have sworn I bought something else in Germany. I'm taking all of this crap out. It's not crap, but it's still good. That's the situation right here. Oh yeah, I do remember what else I bought in Germany. Oh my god, it was like a little, uh, little chocolate thing. It was filled, dark chocolate filled with marzipan. It's really, really, it was really, really good. I couldn't resist, so I ate it already. So sorry. See, the next pavilion would be Italy, I think. Didn't buy anything from there because eh, not really my thing, I guess. I did buy some gelato and I shared it with my baby cousin, if that counts. Um, nothing from the American Pavilion. Then we go to Japan. Alright, before I show you the food that I bought from Japan, I want to show you guys the book I was telling you about earlier. It's called 47 Ronin. So. Now, I've, I have the movie, and I've seen the movie. It's really, really good, even though the critics gave it crap, which they shouldn't have. So I figured I might as well read the book, but that's based on the actual 47 Ronin. This is not fiction. This is actually, like, his history. And then I got this little guy. I got Kurilakuma. Now, I have a giant, not really a giant, but I have a big Rilakuma plushie, so I figured I might as well get Kurilakuma. And look how cute he is. His little button and then his little butt. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. All right, time for the important stuff. Time for the food. All right. So, all right, these right here. These little beauties. I only had these once, and they were freaking delicious. I've I. Ever since I watched somebody on YouTube try these, they was I was like, oh, I need to buy them. I need to try them. I couldn't find them anywhere. And then I finally found them in one store, and that was in, like, the mall of Louisiana. So I bought a bag, so I was like, mm, let me try it. It was freaking delicious, so I was like, oh, I gotta go back. They didn't have it. I guess because they have to, like, whatever shipments they get, I guess. And so I went to World Market, they didn't have it. So I was like, I'm just never meant to get these ever. And then I found them at the Japan Pavilion. And I was I was very tempted to buy all of the bags of this. But I was like, no, let me just get two bags for right now. So, yeah. 
Um, I got some sugar candy. Guanpeto. It's literally just straight up sugar. Product of Japan, and obviously these are product of Japan. It says it right there on the tag, even though you can't read that. All right, let's move on to the marshmallows. So I got some tropical mango Hello Kitty marshmallows. I got some chocolate marshmallow Hello Kitties. I got some just straight up strawberry marshmallows. And I also got some apple, upside down, apple marshmallows. And these are all product of Japan. Yep, product of Japan. Product of Japan says it right there. Focus. And product. Oh! This is actually a product of China, but it's sold in the Japan Pavilion. How funny is that? All right. Then I got these. This is um, Ichigo Daifuku. I got two of those because I had these last time I went and these were delicious. And then I decided to get this melon one which is called um, melon, da uh, melon Daifuku. So I figured I might as well try the melon one because it looks really good. And then I got these. These are called um, Mamen which is um, a baked wheat cake. It looks really good. I don't think it's going to have like cream in it. It's just going to be like a straight up cake. But it looks good. And then I got some dorayaki. Now for those of you who don't know what dorayaki is. It's basically like two like little pancakes. Or two like cakes. With like red bean paste in the middle. And I love me some red bean paste. I love red bean mochi. It's like one of my favorite Japanese sweets ever. And this is a product of Japan as well. Oh. Is this a product of Japan? Yes. Product of Japan. And these are as well. Yeah, product of Japan right there. Alright, um, then I got some poppin' cooking. I see people all the time on YouTube do these, so I figured I might as well do one of them. Or at least two. Since I have two right here. So, there was like a sushi one, but it wasn't like real, like real sushi. It was just like gummy, so I was like, no, I don't want to get that one. So I got the donut one, and then I got the ice cream cakey Thing, whatever. And so I figured I might as well do that. Oh, and it's no bake. You just add water. Alright. Then I got some cream colon. They, these were the only flavor that I saw, so I figured I might as well just try it. And then I got some Pocky. I got the traditional chocolate one. I got some almond crush. I got banana chocolate. I got cookies and cream. And then I got this. This is a sort of Pocky-ish. It's made from the same uh, company, Glyco. It's called Pijoy. It's a mixed berry cream filled biscuit stick. So it's like the opposite of Pocky. It's like a reverse effect. Oh, this is a product of Thailand. Go figure. There's a product of Thailand. Product of Thailand again. I'm assuming all of these are product of Thailand. Oh, this one's a product of Japan. And so, oh, the chocolate pocky is a product of Thailand. So, this one is the only product of Japan. The rest are a product of Thailand, but they're sold in the Japan Pavilion. Go figure. All right. So that is it for the Japan Pavilion. And then the next one was Morocco. I didn't buy anything from there. I didn't buy anything from the France Pavilion. And then we went to the. Uh, United Kingdom Pavilion, and I got some stuff there. I got this chocolate orange made with real orange oil, and this is a product of England. It's in very, very, very tiny print, like right at the bottom right there. I got some tea, some Earl Grey tea. I actually bought this for uh, one of my friends. I got some clotted Scottish clotted cream fudge, and Obviously, since it's Scottish, it's a product of Scotland. I got some Jammy Dodgers. Best ever recipe. Got a raspberry. And obviously, they're from the United Kingdom. It's from um, Birmingham. Um, and then I got these. Club Orange. I love chocolate and orange mixed together. I think it's really good. 
And it's a product of England in very, very tiny print right there. And then I also got these special um, English biscuits. It's The flavors are chocolate and praline crisp, melon crisp, and rose hip crisp. And I also got this uh, for my for one of my friends. And then I got uh, like... And then I got like a like two keychains for my other friends and then something for my grandma. All right. And then the next day after that, we went back to Magic Kingdom, which was yesterday, and then I bought some actual tea for myself. I got this bad boy. It's a mint, earl grey, blueberry, chai, papaya, passion fruit, mad tea party blend, lemon honey chamomile, pomegranate, mango, French vanilla. Jasmine and English breakfast tea. So I'm going to have a lot of fun drinking that. And I also bought this cool thing. I think it's cool. I uh, have saw this the first day and I was like, no, I'm not going to buy it. It's too much or whatever. And ever since then, I've seen it in every single park at every single store that I went to. And this is it. This little teacup. Look how cute this is, guys. It even has, it's a, like, an exact replica of the teacup at the Mad uh, Hatter's uh, Mad Hatter's uh, tea party in uh, Magic Kingdom. He even has like a little slot for the door like right there. You see it? I gotta clean it. Well, alright guys. That is, um, that is my haul video. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that I wasn't as uh, beat as I normally am making my videos. It's just something happened last night. And we're still dealing with it right now. I'm not going to go into specifics because we don't want anybody to really know until we're ready. So I try to be like a little bit upbeat, but this is just my way of coping right now. Like I need a distraction and making this video was my distraction. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys um, in my next video, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye!